making our tuna mix in the morning. Okay, so I'm gonna get my container for my tuna. Went off camera for that one. So I've pre-opened up these containers of tuna now. Again, you don't have to be so paranoid about getting tuna in oil because you can always rinse the oil if you want to. The goal here is to open up a good amount of cans of tuna. So I made four, why? Because when I'm making a sandwich, I wanna have a big amount of tuna on my plate. I don't wanna be stingy and have to take one can of tuna and share it with my wife and kids. I want a full 30 grams of protein every time I have my meal so I can give myself as much protein as needed. I'll put that in the corner. What's really nice is now is if you have a glass of wine that you can sip on the side when the kids are going crazy watching TV. Mm. But for this purposes, no vino. This is the great version. Okay, so I got my tuna in there. Now, I'm gonna go back to mayo. This is where people get afraid of putting mayonnaise in the food. Mayonnaise won't spike your blood sugar, people. Foods with bread, pasta, grapes, candies, that's gonna spike your blood sugar. So, I put four cans of tuna in here. So, I'm just gonna go to begin. I can have my back-end chef help me with maybe some more mayonnaise in case we go out. She says four. Okay, we're gonna listen to my wife because if we go against my wife's words, she may shut the camera down. So, there we go, we got three. Don't be afraid, make them heaping tablespoons. Okay, four. Now, what you do next is you're just gonna mix this around. And then if you need to add a bit more, what I'm gonna go with is a little bit of olive oil before I put more mayonnaise in it. So first get in there, get the mayo mixed up. This looks like it's pretty good. You may need about one more. One more tablespoon. Now, if you get a bigger container, you can also put some chives inside. You can mix some onions. You can mix some tomatoes, whatever you want. So I'm gonna go back to my salt. So I wanna go about three pinches of salt. Is that okay with the boss? The boss said no salt. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there and mix it up. Okay, now you can always double check if you wanna make sure. You take a little scoop out. Mmm, needs a little bit of lemon. Okay, and it needs a dash of olive oil. This is gonna help it not get so dry when it's in the fridge. Okay, mix it in. And like I said, for time purposes today, I'm not gonna be mixing in the onions, but if you want to put in onions, chives, whatever type of vegetable you want, you can. I'm looking at my watch here, guys, and I'm still not even 10 minutes into this. There you go, voila, you got your tuna mix. This can easily sit in the fridge for three, four days and can feed a family of four. 